save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You see the piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! Alright, so yeah. So, in one week, I have requalified for the YouTube Partner Program, but it says it's going to take them a month to get to it. Now, will it actually take a month? I don't know. Uh, the good news here is, I'm not in any rush. Okay? I'm not in any rush at all. If it takes them a month to even look at it, then it takes them a month to look at it. The, I told you the whole idea here... <clears throat> Excuse me, because my post-nasal drip is bothering me today. The whole idea here is to build up a body of work on that channel, right? Let's get 20 or more videos of Final Fantasy. Let's get 10 or more videos of Red Dead. Then, if I get approved for the partner program and I turn on ads, now ads will start running on all that content, and if someone starts watching, they can watch a ton of videos instead of one or two, and then they run out of content to watch, right? In addition, I told you my future plans for that channel are, number one, to possibly do kind of one-off retro streams where we'll have like a Q&A night, well, I'll head over there and talk about what it was like back in the day to be a YouTuber in the old days. How different YouTube used to be, how the channel formats were different, how the uploading process was different. Shut up! You boring bastard! Jeez! Or, another idea I had is doing a stream where for like two hours, I do reacting to my old content. So imagine once Red Dead Redemption, the first four parts are live, imagine if one night I just go on that channel, start a stream, hit play, and we watch Red Dead together, and I react to my old style of gameplay and commentary, uh, I think that would be neat. <clears throat> I think that would be really fun. No! 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 Let's see how it goes. I'm happy that I've requalified. All right, we'll see what happens, but it could take a while. You know, um, up to a month. I hope it doesn't take a month. I hope that it takes, like, maybe a week or two. That'd be great. Um, but it is what it is. And if it takes forever, it takes forever, right? And you know what? If it doesn't qualify for some oddball reason, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it would suck because obviously I want to make maybe a little bit of ad revenue on the videos. But I could still stream over there and do stuff. I mean, I've done streams before where, hey, if you like the stream, just hit me or something, right? I've done that. We did that on Twitch for a month, uh, two and a half years ago, when they kicked me out of the partner program for no valid reason. Uh, I actually streamed on there a whole other month, reliant basically on tips and not worrying about things like ad revenue and other contributions. So <clears throat> let's see what happens. I, I didn't even know you could be this lazy. So this morning I went into YouTube chat with their support team. I laid it all out. I even gave them screenshots to show. I'll say, here's the chart showing they counted, but here's the revenue chart showing nothing. So what gives? So they're going to look into this and they're supposed to get back to me. Okay? If their answer is, oh, it just takes a long time to process gifted memberships, then I'm going to be calm and I'm not going to worry. But if they come to me and they're like, oh, this is fraudulent, it's going to piss me off because we're counting memberships that don't exist. And there's literally people who come to stream and they look, oh, maybe I'll help out Phil in the community today, right? But now they think I've gotten something that I didn't get and that's not fair. That's not fair to me. That's not fair to anyone. That's bullshit, you know? But up to this point, never once in my entire time using YouTube, now almost three full-time years I've been streaming here, have I seen that be a problem. Like, I've never seen fraudulent memberships or fraudulent gifted memberships. I don't even know how that would work. To my knowledge, the moment that it goes through, it counts, right? So, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, and certainly, this is not a big deal for you guys. This is a big deal for me. But understand why it's a big deal for me. You guys every day are coming to stream like, oh my god, Phil's doing exceptionally well here on this channel this month. This is cool. But in truth, I don't even know if I am. I could actually now be down this month because the ad revenue is low. And now no one is doing anything with memberships because they think I have a ton that maybe I don't even have. Right? This sucks. I don't like having the control of my business not in, in you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like not having that control because the way it's supposed to work is you make good content. You provide that content. People watch that content. They like it and then they support it. But how do you know if the support is real? And the thing is... Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair donations. Let's be honest here. This is not the first time people messed with me. You know what I'm saying? I've had entire strings of months where people have tipped. And then all those tips got charged back. Kind of, oh, it was a fraudulent credit card. A bunch of fraudulent credit cards stolen off the black market. You know. And now all that stuff gets reversed. And that kills me. You know, that's some of the stuff you guys don't usually hear about. But I've had months where all of a sudden, from a six-month span, there was someone who was tipping hundreds of dollars. And it's just gone like this. Overnight. It's like, well, now you got to deal with it. All your money's gone that was in your account. Wow. You know, what am I supposed to do about that? I didn't do anything wrong. And that happens all the time. You know? Remember when we had, we had people coming uh, in here years ago? 
doing that kind of stuff. There's multiple people, too. If you remember, over the years, there's been multiple people who've done that kind of stuff. And now I'm worried. Because I'm like, damn, if this counts, things are good. If it doesn't count, damn, things are actually slow this month. And now what do I do to make up for that? I don't know if I even can, you know? So I guess we're going to see uh, what happens. And I, I did officially uh, start, you know, talk to them and said what is going on. And now they're supposed to get back to me. Now, I don't know officially how long it'll take them or when they'll get back to me. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they get back to me within a few days. And... <clears throat> And hopefully this will all clear and everything will be fine. And if that's the case, I'm happy. Anything for this, right? Fizzgig, if you see negative videos about me in your feed, all you gotta do is, uh, and mark them off. What you do is you mark them off as, what is it? Um, like, don't show this again or block content. There's a drop down. When there's a recommended video in your feed on YouTube, right? Okay, so if you're looking at your recommended feed, and you click on the three dots next to the name of a video. There's all these options. Add to queue, save to watch later, save to playlist, download, share, not interested, don't recommend channel or report. All right? If you hit not interested, I think what happens is YouTube puts that into its algorithm that that content isn't interesting to you and it tries to remove similar content. If you hit don't recommend channel, you will literally never see that channel in your recommended feed again. So if there's a channel that's 100% constantly ragging on me and you think it's annoying, if you hit don't recommend channel, they should never show up again. Yeah, I would think if you just keep hitting don't recommend channel, after like a week of doing it, most of those channels will be gone. There's a few dozen of them, but it's just a bunch of fucking idiots, and there's not that many. It's not like 4,000 people spend their time making these videos. It's like, you know, 10 to 20 of them who get views doing it and make money doing it. So they're the ones who regularly do it. And if you just hit all don't recommend, you probably won't see them after a few days, right? You could, you could always try reporting. The thing is, YouTube really doesn't give a shit. If YouTube cared, they would have got rid of internet bullying 100 years ago, right? You would think if they, if they legitimately cared about harassment of people on their site, they would have stopped this practice many, many years ago. You could always report those videos for bullying and stuff, but I don't think YouTube cares. I don't think they do a damn thing about it. I, I've never seen them do a thing about it. You know, I've seen outright videos doing awful things to people, and people have reported them. They don't do nothing. They just ignore it. So good luck with that. I, I would say just uh, don't recommend channel is probably your best option, and hopefully they just don't play that content for you ever again from that channel and just do it enough times those channels won't show up in your feed anymore. So. Um, and that's YouTube's fault. <laughs> I'm an evil bastard. No go. What the fuck? What? The room was clear. The room had a dead zombie in it, but we walked through the zombie and it wasn't alive. So you're telling me that at any moment they could take a zombie that's already dead and have it then be animated and come and bite you? Like, what the fuck? How am I supposed to know that? I mean, it's not a big deal. I can just reload. It's only one room, but... I mean, what the fuck is their problem? Why'd they make it like that? <clears throat> so you could be standing in a safe room with a typewriter and an enemy can spawn and kill you when you're separated. <clears throat> wow, that's just genius game design, though. <clears throat> Do I believe I'm one of the best overall gamers in the country? I'm one of the overall one of the best gamers in the universe. So just to give you some perspective here, all right? YouTube is claiming that all the gifted memberships went through for the month, okay? That's what they're saying, okay? And they're claiming that with all those gifted memberships going through, that... Oh, well, you see, different memberships can be different amounts and blah, blah, blah. So just to give you some perspective, I'm staring at my analytics right now. On one day, I was gifted 200 memberships, okay? And YouTube is claiming on that day, I only made $79 from the memberships. How does that make sense? A membership costs you guys $4. And I'm supposed to keep 70% of the revenue of a membership. So that's between two fifty to three dollars. So if you just do the simple math, I should have made four hundred dollars or more on the memberships that day. It says I made seventy nine. Okay. The next day, when I got the other two hundred gifted memberships, okay, it's saying I made around two hundred dollars. 
meaning I only made a dollar on each gifted membership. How does that make sense? How on one day was I gifted 200 memberships and I made $79, and the next day I was gifted 209 memberships and I made $200? It's the same membership. That doesn't even make sense. Wah, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. At all, in any way, shape, or form. That makes no fucking sense. So what they're, the data they're giving me is wrong. So now I gotta respond to this guy and tell him, you don't know what you're talking about. Because that doesn't even make logical sense what you're saying. Remember the day that I had the 100 gifted memberships? Supposedly those did count. Because it's saying that I made a lot more money that day. But I think that that revenue that they're listing here is not membership revenue. I think that's all channel revenue for that day. It, it's all about this first. And then the content second. I don't know. This is, I don't even know what to do. Uh, guys, literally, I gotta split the part. I need guidance. I have no idea what to do. This game's too cryptic. I'm tired of walking around. I just want to know what I need to do at this point. The, game's, the game sucks. I'm gonna be honest. This one stinks. It's actually probably... After, after having put this one a second time, I do think this is the worst one. Uh, I think they fucked it up. And it should be much better, and it sucks. So... I just need to know what to do at this point, because this is shit. I don't want to waste time anymore. <clears throat> You need to remove the capsule and take it with you. Not sure you need to eliminate the leech. And by the way, guys, I totally, uh, I apologize. Obviously, you guys shouldn't have any involvement with this shit, but, I mean, this is ridiculous. You know? Someone, one of my fans paid a lot of money to support this channel, and YouTube didn't pay me yet, or at least hasn't recorded the revenue yet. And now, I ask them, and they give me form letter answers and, and, and a bullshit answer. Oh, go here to your analytics to see your income. I'm going there. I'm staring at it. I'm like, yeah, it's not recording it. It's right there. It's, you can see it's not recorded. How could I get 200 memberships this day, 200 memberships this, the next day, and the revenue is completely different both days? It's the same person. They both bought them two different days in a row. It should be the same revenue recorded at least, and you can see it's not equivalent at all to what you're saying. You know? So, it's bullshit. I didn't even want to have to respond during the stream, but I had to because you know if you don't respond right away, these guys will close your fucking log on you. So, hopefully, they take this seriously, because, no exaggeration, if those, if those memberships go through, that's going to help me a ton, because this month, ad revenue is way down. But if they don't go through, now it's like, I'm way behind this month. And that's bullshit. I didn't do anything wrong. I earned it. And now they're going to screw me over? Like, no. No fucking thank you, dude. Alright, let me just take a pee. I'll be right back. And, uh, and then we'll continue. Hold on. Alright. Now, in the 30 seconds I was gone, I sent out 48 messages to known whales to come to the stream and to throw about their their maritime support, okay? Right. I just received an incredibly generous tip. Guys, I just got a hundred dollar tip. It was basically a, 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 a con artist. I hit him with all three, he still didn't die. Are you kidding me? I hit him with all three and he still didn't die. So what do they want me to do? Resident. Why did he throw it at the wall? You saw that, right? Dude, there's an enemy directly in front of him. He smashes the Molotov next to him against the wall. This is such a bad game. Wow. We unsoft locked the bat part. We actually got past the double hunter room that was the hardest part of my original playthrough in one go. So actually, it's like we got soft locked at different stuff this run, right? We did. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>